You all good, Charlie? Do you feel you feel confident that it's all good? I feel super confident that I'm going to get disconnected at some point. So that's the, <laughs> that's the only thing is uh, if I get disconnected, it's fine because it just stops the recording and then I can just pick it up and it'll be good. OK, OK. So uh, you'll, right. you'll just randomly disappear and we can just be like. Yeah, exactly. Frame. M- mid-sentence. Yeah, so it's not like just like normal. Gotcha. All right. Am I ready to go? So where's my coffee? I am so ready. I just did all my contest of champions arena hits. No one cares about that game. I care about it. He loves it. He doesn't stop talking it. about it. Actually, I, by, by that cool. game, I mean this game. Really. Oh. Really talk about it. anyway. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Overachievers. Fuck, I got gut. Oh, man, I cursed. Oh, no. Uh, I got you. Oh, oh no. And it wasn't me. Oh, the, yes. okay, oh, this no. is the OG Overachievers Gaming Podcast, Marvel Strike Force Insider Edition. I am your host, Vash, joined by the guy who's oh. got got Ash Pastrami, oh, the deli meat, got, dude. Chef the Grondo. Deli and joining us this week is uh, Silver Ninja, who is the creator of the Warbot you're probably using in all of your Discord servers. So thank you, guys very much for joining us um i thought i was going to have this this episode ready to go with the new setup i moved my computer and everything like that over to the new house but unfortunately uh there is workers working in my house Wait, so, how you know, far is your new house from your old house it's uh five minutes oh okay good i would just imagine you in your car just like driving 80 miles down the highway <laughs> to get back home it's like so dangerous i mean you're not you're not wrong <laughs> But still, it's like so. I'm I'm recording this from my laptop uh, at the moment at the old house in my old office area. So uh, the new new spot's pretty cool. We'll have to, I'll, I can't wait. The, I can't wait till it's all set. I'm gonna get like grill. A, I'll be grilling outside your backyard all the time. Yeah. Well, do we get like an MTV Cribs kind of? Yeah, OG podcast edition. Yeah, yeah exactly. Hundred percent. That would be great. So uh, anyway, so this uh, I want to. We're going to change things up a little bit this this episode. Um, I didn't tell you guys this, but this is what we're going to do. I do um, it. I don't care. But so um, anyway, I want to talk more um, now that we we've had you know S- Silver Ninja on the podcast right this second. I want to talk more about like Silver Ninja, your background, where you come from, how you got involved in this you know the shenanigans that we love to complain about this game marvel strike force um and then what made you want to create a war bot so tell us a little bit about yourself a little bit about myself uh i'm canadian uh i did live in the u.s uh for 15 years um as a software engineer it was actually pretty easy to get a job in silicon valley so um I'm actually now dual citizen, so both Canadian and American. Uh, we did move back to Canada four years ago because the Bay Area was way too expensive. Oh, and yeah. my kid was about to start school, and I was like, eh, no way. It's like, yeah. wait, wait, like it was something like 50 grand in kindergarten. Ooh. I was like, no. <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> you, you, start, uh... you start adding up all the years that Good even Lord. before he goes to college, and you're like, I'm half a mil in for yeah. that. Dude, this kid better be probably, making two fifty k a year coming out of school. At least I, I, out of yeah. kindergarten, making two fifty k. Yeah, I know right? exactly. <laughs> so I, I, we were so, like, no. So we 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 actually look at our options because my wife is American. My my kids sort of like got lucky and got dual citizenship off the bat because yeah, right. I, I'm born Canadian, so any of my kids can get it. Um, and he was born in the U.S., so mm. l- lucky for him is Horizon like as his frontier is wide open. So yeah. that, that's pretty cool. But then I'll, I'll also moving back to uh, Quebec. I'm from the Quebec province. So that uh, means that he's going to school in French. So now he's perfectly bilingual. Yeah. That's, so right. that's all. That's always, it's literally never a bad thing to be bilingual, right? Of, of course not. Yeah. Well, yeah. Whatever language it is. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's, that's awesome. That's so all. You're probably better off in Canada right now than it is here in the U.S. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we, we've been watching and we're we're pretty happy that it was good timing for sure and everything, all the craziness with the the virus going on. I'm sure. it, it, it's a little dial down here uh, right now, but it's still happening. So yeah, yeah. Ashby was uh, patient zero for us uh, a couple of weeks ago. So 
Mm. I, I, it, it was actually scary. I, I had, I had a, a like a, a, a minor respiratory infection. So like, I heard, heard that of course, on everyone was <laughs> messaging me, like Mac, Mac, uh, Charlie Clammer was messaging me like, how's my patient zero every morning? Like, dude, stop it. This is, <laughs> this is a bad thing to joke about. I am not, I am fine. <laughs> right. I'm fine. Right guys. <clears throat> Everything. Continue, there's please. fire in the background. Like that. Yeah. I am that meme. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. So, so that that's me in a nutshell. Where where I live, uh, like I said, I have a, a software engineering background. Uh, I am a more of a software architect now, which means I don't really do much of the coding anymore. You got the uh, you got the best job. <laughs> yeah, the best and the hardest one. I guess. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's not the kind of job that you can go, oops, I was wrong. Let's yeah. do it all over again. <laughs> yeah, oops, I was wrong. Where's my resume? <laughs> exactly. Oh, dang. Yeah, true. But at the same time, uh, I get to work from home mostly, and I travel to customers once in a while. So I don't have hiring to hiring by any chance? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> So don't don't have to deal with traffic and whatnot every day. Um, always say that yeah, I'd that's rather a right there. I'd rather have to take a plane once a month to go see a customer than every day totally. spend in traffic and commuting. Yeah. So um, that's that. Uh, r- related to uh, Strike Force, I actually started um, pre-launch. I was a, a late beta player. And it, it, it's funny because I was—I don't remember what other game I was playing, but I kept getting the ads to try to get me in Marvel Strike Force. And it was like, oh, no, I don't want to play another game. I don't want to play another game. And, and I, I must have, like, lost, like, a couple months of beta play that could have been, like, huge on my roster. Right. Because mm-hmm. back then they were giving stuff away, like, oh, where really? I was. Yeah, I think it was easier to recruit some of the players, like Black oh, you Widow. You actually farm I Black Widow back then. Yeah, like Rock. early back, mm-hmm. Black Widow was like farmable. But when I got in, it was like, I think I might have been a month before lunch or something like that. But um, so I, I miss all the the early lunch, even like at first, because I, I played another game that I spent some and I was like, I don't want to spend money. And then. Even when I launch started the game, there 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 was a captain um, offer for ten bucks that got him like pretty high up, and then it was it was a pain in the ass to like farm back yeah. then. And I remember yeah. going through through that, and I was like, oh my god, I should have like spent that ten bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. And, and it was like that that ten dollar offer was. Like you launch the game, it's there for a day, I think, and then if you don't buy it, it's gone. Right. It was not like available again. So it's like, yeah. Back when offers mattered. Right. <laughs> exactly. Back now when I actually spent like, money on the game. Yeah. So it's a, and back when the the good old days of eight uh, six hour blitz timers. Back right. in the good old days of not having red stars. The pre Red Stars, oh my god, yeah. How long has it been? The, the funny, like what, a year and a half since Red Stars happened. The funny like thing Red about Stars. a lot of these complaints with, with you guys, like playing it for a lot longer than me, is I've only known these terrible things, right? So, <laughs> like for me, I'm just like, oh, this is this is normal. Like it literally, is yeah. like everything is fine. Meme, like with the fire burning behind me, like right. it's, it's like it's all normal <laughs> for me. You know, I came in. I think a week after Red Stars were implemented, I came in right, right after, right before they got rid of like Thanos raids and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So like mm-hmm. all these things that are like like <laughs> shitty things, I I I just can't, came into it, which is so unfortunate. You know, it's a bad timing on my part, I guess. It's okay because we have some. Uh, great did just get Ultron and Seven Stars? So that's cool. Oh, you beat the game, dude! So how does it feel? Um, uh, the so when I got uh, Ultron two seven stars like finally after beating DD two second time, I genuinely was like, well, I could stop. <laughs> ah, I, I could stop. Not a bad stopping point. Now welcome it, to the Great Depression. It's it's like I'm because I'm I'm not going to do DD three. I don't I don't care. I don't care. Dog, I, I'm I I'm. Care. We both know that I'm well well ahead of you because of the fact I've been playing since day one. I'm not even close. To seeing it in this year like not even 
close. Yeah. yeah. But uh, you, um, you might be okay. Uh, you never know. But I, I don't, I don't, I'm sorry, uh, Silver, I don't want to take away. I still want to keep going into, into stuff with you. Yeah. So uh, what inspired you to uh, do the war bot? First off, before we get going on that, you made a dope bot, dude. It is seriously not having to like look at spreadsheets or search or do any crap. Like you made a phenomenal tool for this very small community. And thank you. Oh. <laughs> so like me, thank you. Cause it's awesome. Thank you for the sentiment. And I think what you just said is what, pretty much inspired me to start that right um i actually so i ran an alliance for a very very long time uh it was called exiled sons uh midgard so exiled sons is is a cluster uh we're they're, they're not in the top at all actually midgard Titan was their flagship for a while and then they they folded eventually but then midgard we came from behind and grew and grew and grew. And eventually we end up in the top 100. I think we made it to the top 50. Oh, cool. Uh, but then I, w- I had a flu, uh, a flu, uh, a few players that I basically, I wouldn't say taught, but I, I helped grow quite a bit. And these guys were spenders, mm-hmm. uh, but they were <laughs> really aggressive. <laughs> so they want it always more, always more, always sure. more and, uh, and move up and move up and move up. Um, eventually that was actually probably the demise of our alliance trying to grow too fast and yeah. then replacing people because of that. Oh, and then, uh, one day we folded, um, and actually these three guys decided that they, they wanted more. So they left and they, um, they went to Pants of All, I think it was called Misfit at the time. And then, um, so I was left without an alliance. Well, my whole alliance was uh, collapsed. And I, <laughs> after building it for so many years, I, I was like kind of crushed. And I was oh, like, sure. All right, I, I, I don't want to rebuild once more. And I, I want to try to go and play the game and maybe like I can help, but I I don't want to be in that leadership anymore. So I shopped around uh, and I actually found a spot uh, with Legion Um, Legion of doom. I think it was called eventually Um, back then. And then my, my, my three friends and I I was still very good friends with them. Uh, They all went to uh, pants. Cool. Um, I stayed in Legion for the Legion of Doom for like three months, maybe. And then they collapsed. <laughs> so <laughs> it, it's just unfortunate things. And then I was like, all right, I'll go in pants and play with my friends. So I joined. Right. Uh, and at that point, they had renamed to pants multiverse, which is now like they were up to like top three, I think three, four. I, I, when I left that, I'm not in there anymore. But when I left, we were fourth. Um, but then in, uh, on the, on the pants server, they had a bot that somebody from one of the pants Alliance had built. It was more of a team management for war where you enter your team and you can just say, I use this one. And then like, so your leadership can know what's available and what size. Oh, that's actually pretty interesting. Right. So that, that was in the bot. And then, um, my friend was like, dude, you're a software engineer. Why, why don't you build a bot like because it's like <laughs> why don't you do this difficult thing for free for a community that will not give you any recognition <laughs> <of payment? laughs> no 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 but it, it's i was like well i know nothing about bots <laughs> right i i but that just goes that's such a funny thing that so many people do like in so many different industries like hey you do this thing professionally can you do that for me right exactly, <laughs> right. exactly. yeah but, but then he was like I'm tired of asking this guy to like add new teams. So basically the teams were art coded in his bot. So every time like there was a new team and it was, if we go back, that was back in November before the explosion of all the new like characters. Sure. So where the meta has been pretty stable, so it wasn't changing as much, but um, he's like, well, every time I, I need a new team added in there, he needs to go in his code and actually add it. I was like, oh, wow, that's a terrible design. 
<laughs> that's like right. a, that's like a huge coding no no for anybody that doesn't know. Exactly. So every time you had to add a team, it, it took like a while for this guy to add to his bot. And I was like, you know what? Let, let me look into it. Let's see like how complicated this thing is. And I hadn't coded in a long time, like little thing, little scripts here and there and stuff, but nothing of this magnitude and started Googling stuff and find out like, okay, here's how you create a bot. And like you do the first hello world type of thing and then mm-hmm. start adding stuff and the classic. And, and, and it, it started as really a fun project, right? Right. Exactly. Yeah. But, but I think like within a week, I probably had my bot equal to pretty much is, but configurable, right? Where right. you can add teams at will and whatnot. And then um, I was lucky back then, like uh, I was not assigned to any project. So I, I was what we call on the bench. <laughs> yeah, a little free time. Right. So I had free yeah. time. So I was working on it and like learning stuff and then started like adding stuff. And then as I was building this, I could see where there was a lot of potential to not only with your teams, but especially with the counter stuff, right? Because that's when oh, yeah. it started exploding and then the meta was changing every week, every other week, because new character came in and right. changed everything in the dynamic. Or somebody was creative and added like a couple characters together and it like you go into war and you're like, oh my God, how do I beat this? Right. And then all the spreadsheet, all the infographics, like it was way too much. And it took way too much time when you were in war and trying to race and looking at a team and go like, what do I do? And like, which is the right team? And what the, I was like, oh my God, there has to be a better way. And I was like, in the end, in the end, this is just data, right? If you capture the data and you tell it, look, I have this team that I need to go against. What is the data? Tell me what's the best thing. Right. And I, I, I started small and improved and improved and improved. And so th- this is where we are today. But ever since I started that and uh, like the day we introduce it into the pants Alliance, I made it clear to these guys that this was not a pants bot bot. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So we, for everybody. we are introducing it here. We are testing it here. But when this thing is ready to be at large, like, I don't want anybody from Pens to tell me that it's only I, Pens. I, right. Yeah. So wait, exactly. I'm, I'm curious not to cut you off, but did you just say that you tested something before you pushed it out to everybody in the public? <laughs> <laughs> I did. It's yeah, fucking what a concept, novel man. Idea. And I just dropped an f bomb. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> I'm the first had two. one. We're still, we're still in PG 13. I had my one. I had my one. Everybody get, gets one. So everybody gets one. Got you. Got you. Yeah. I didn't say it last week, so maybe do I maybe get like one more? Is it debited? Right. No. Uh, but anyway, yeah. I just, I just, I was, I was actually just taken back by the concept of you know testing your code and products before you actually push it out to the public. But. Uh, yeah. Continue. Thank you. Thank you for yeah. your service. <laughs> <laughs> well, so so we beta test it in pans in uh, multi beta test, right? And then all we um, our alliance was using it to the fullest, like with the teams, and I, I think they still use it to to the max. And then um, I still have like many ideas that. Um, to, to put in there, but it, it's just time at this point. Right. And I've been coding on it since November and it keeps going. But, but like you said, like it, they, they are bugs that get introduced. Um, with everything. That, exactly. And I, I don't really have a way to beta test like new version anymore. So it's me like te- I, I do have a beta bot, but I'm on pretty much the only one on that server. Hmm. Right. So I test my commands and it looks like it works. Uh, I, you guys probably live the, the alert problem that we had last week where the bots <laughs> just went nuts yeah, it was like every um, seven minutes, it was a double alert, triple alert. Yeah, it was funny. Oh, yeah. It was pretty bad. So, but, but 
That's the thing. The alert is the most complicated piece of code that is in there. Really? See that? Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, because, because you deal with time zones and you you know what time it is now, and I have to figure out like which which zone you are. Mm-hmm. Then figure out: Are you in a war, or are you, is the war <laughs> next? And then sure, or the war is not every two days. There's yeah. one that is at, like so. There's three a weeks, and then there's a time zone, right? So my beta bot works. I'm Eastern time zone, but then when I push it to the server, then the bot is in gmt yeah yeah right, <laughs> right? so there's all this complexity oh god that sounds terrible <laughs> and yeah then, like working just, with date and time can be really frustrating it, it, it is and then you you figure out the start time but then figuring out the energy drop is like every three hours and 45 minutes after Except, that but from the first one well it's actually it's from matchmaking it's from matchmaking yeah and that's been the, the the most like question I had on my Discord is like the alerts is not coming at the right time. I'm like, no, they are at the right time. So <laughs> right. E- e- either you um, you maxed out or there was an issue with your matchmaking. But I mean, the bot can't know. Sure. So, so if the game happened at the right time, if the matchmaking started at, oh, at the right time, oh, 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 okay. then the alerts will come at the right time. But then if it then, then like, there's no way for me to, to right. know. It, ha- that it has no match. idea that it took you like an hour to matchmake. Right. Well, well it's hours. when it started, right? Because technically the matchmaking starts two hours before the war starts. Oh, got it. Okay. Always. If, I didn't, I didn't if, know it was a fixed time. I just saw a number. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's always two hours. So Got it. Okay. That's if good if to you know. look at it, if you're not into a war and you look at your screen, it'll tell you how much time until matchmaking. And that's two hours before your war will actually start. So, but... The, the the end story is like I, I can't know what's going on in the game right and then people are like well they're 30 minutes i'm like well push a ticket to fox next i'm like sure. it's supposed to be, wouldn't it be cool would it be cool if they had some kind of like api endpoints you could hook into for that it would be cool if they had any api at all allowance yeah, in know, goddamn right? game. any any i know anything um yeah. i have i, I have a i like just a little cheeky question for you because like mm-hmm. you keep speaking in like when you're like for me you know because like I, i'm a junior not trying to act like i'm i know programming that well nearly as well as you do but like you kept dropping like if this and then that is your bot like a giant if else statement for the most part i'm just curious I, I, it's pretty much well it's a, a lot of lo- logic right that's yeah. programming yeah. i mean yeah. everything is a bunch of if, if, if else statements i just think it's great because every time oh well, i mean i don't know maybe it's a personal thing but and i feel like a nerd but like every time you keep saying these things nerd. like if this i'm just sitting there thinking like yeah i can see how you're sitting there and you're like working through like okay so we have a problem the date and time thing okay so if this triggers that then do this like, yeah it's just fun yeah yeah that, that's how you do any code really a friend of mine and i the other day were taught making jokes with each other because it's like when you start working in programming your brain starts to like process things yep. that are said to you a specific way mm-hmm. right. and it's just I, I don't know i feel i feel like as i get deeper and deeper into learning how to code better it just on my brain starts to trickle that way in that direction so it was just yeah, it's, like a, definitely it's, it's, it's yeah. funny i'm actually glad that you you uh you put me out of a project uh ninja just because i was uh so i ran like a very um i ran um a reminder bot for a while which just did like minor um, oh, that was not, yours not no, 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 that's not my bot. I just did all. I just did all the coding. Oh, not got the coding. it. I, I set up all the timers and whatnot. I found a reminder bot, and then I started programming the reminder bot to do all of the the war times for very specific channels and whatnot. And then everybody started asking me to do their own like uh, uh, server stuff, which got really complicated really fast. I was like, there right. must be a way to do this better. So I, then I started to have to relearn because I went to school for programming like in college, but that yeah. was in that was in Java. So I was like, okay, I know Java. How do I make this in Java? And then I learned it. I was like, how do I make this in JavaScript? Mm-hmm. So I started doing that. And I was going down that that run of like, okay, well, maybe I'll start working on this. And it became a project. And then I found your war bot. I was like, well, this has war timers in it already. Right. So I'm just going to abandon my project. And 
because that's literally all I was doing it because I was getting tired of having to set it up every single time. So I was like, that's why I know all the times and everything like that and how like all the matchmaking stuff because I was like, I was in the process. I had a whole document full of like how I was going to build this thing out and made it and make right. it work. But uh, you beat me to it. So cheers. Ninja, Thank you. I, I don't know if I, <laughs> if I miss this, what, what is the process for entering in a, a counter team into your bot? Is it, is, and it's and and also, is it all just on your end or is this any open source where I could, I make a new meta team and I could be like slash war bot, uh, you know, whatever team, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. No, no, good question. I actually, I haven't done a video series on this one, but it's all data in the back, right? Sure. So the way to counter stuff works is it's a three-tier system. So I defined a template, which is the starting point. Anybody at a cluster level or at an alliance level can override or add to it. Okay. Right? So... Let, let's say I define um, on the bot as Guardian um, or Fantastic Four punch up 15% on as Guardian. Sure. Right? And then there's also on the counter stuff that you probably notice, there's a priority one, priority two, and an other. Yes. Right? So the priorities are meant to be basically team management, right? So... When you go into a war, it's just more effective to use certain teams against certain teams. Yeah. Right. So I know for like for a while, and it's still fairly like this. Like you want to send X Men against uh, Nick Fury Coulson teams. Yeah. Right. That's the best use of your X Men. There will be certain cases where, like, if you face like some ridiculous as Guardian of four hundred and fifty. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Charlie just had that. <laughs> you, you might need to send your like top X Men guys on there, right? Sure. So there's exception to it, but overall, the party one, two, or others are there to help your alliance prioritize of which team should be used against who. Yeah, beautiful. And right? I noticed that sometimes the counters will have actual explanations, like like you'll it'll have a notes thing under it, yeah. like. I think the main one, the main one I've I've seen is supernatural against Asgardians. It'll yes. say like you need Mordo has to have the passive at T four or something like that. Is that also is that something you've slowly been working up? Because I know some have it, some don't. Or is that is that like there's other like alliance cluster alliance members that are adding that stuff in themselves? Yeah, you can you can override all this stuff. You can go and okay. hide counters. So if the bot, if you don't like that, uh, I set. Fantastic Four against the Asgardian at 15%, you can change the punch up. You can even change it to a punch down or sure. equal match or whatever. You can okay. change that part at a cluster level or right. an alliance level. Um, yeah, which is great. I use that feature all the time. And I think we, I, didn't I know remember, that was a thing. yeah, you, you can, as the admin, I think uh, way back when, like when we were, when it first introduced, like when you came in to help us set up the, the the war bot actually on our discord just to kind of test it out and everything like that um like you're were, you were explaining everything to me and i was like wow this is pretty rad and i think it just grew from there yeah so with all the, the different things because uh i remember at the time like you couldn't do it and then you're you're saying that's a feature coming soon and then we ended up making it and whatnot so i thought yeah, I, I think anyway. a video explanation would be that would be great we would obviously put we would obviously repost that too because i think those commands are they're probably it's all like Definitely crucial. Yeah, those are all great. Yeah, I mean they're 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 great if you know how to use it, but like it right, takes right. it takes a little bit of like playing around to 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 understand the yeah. the actual commands and whatnot. But once you learn, that's why like whenever I do it, I always just for anybody um, who anybody who manages because I I manage the warbot for all of the, my new cluster that I do now. Um, I just pin all the commands to the channels to the war channels so that way people can reference them. So that's a great use on Discord to do so that way right. people don't have to keep yeah. entering you know, the W dot teams and whatever. So that way it doesn't clog up the war channel. If you need to. But anyway, you, you, you know uh, that you can actually uh, ask your, your members to use the bot in the DM. Oh, so you can just too. Gonna say that. Yeah. Yeah. And so I, know that. That's good. I, I actually, it I, I, I it off demands, right? Yeah, correct. 
but you have to be talking to the bot. And there's a few commands. Most of the admin commands cannot be ran into a private message, right? Because you have to be on the server to override stuff for the server. Mm. Okay. But you can, everything related to your own teams, you can all do in private. That's cool. I, so, I didn't realize that that's the case at all. That actually makes it very easy to to work with then. But what, yeah. what is it? What if you're like, for me, like I'm a part of like six different discords who I run the bots, the, the war bot for people. Is it updated for all of, all of the servers or is it just specific if, if I need to? Well, it's your teams, right? So if oh, I... Oh, yeah. So me on my, my discords. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. That's so, actually better. So if you go in your alliance and you do your show user, right? It sends you a DM. Then in that DM, you can do W teams. You can say use uh, X men or unuse X men or whatever, right? You yeah. can run the counter there as well, right? So if you want to look at uh, what's what's the counter for as guardian, you can do it there. And then I usually going to look at or the what command, right? That tells you what's mm -hmm. the best thing for your your team to, that, to hit. That was great, by the way. I love <laughs> that addition of that. So. Yeah, and I'm planning on uh, adding eventually a my counter. So basically, now with the counter output growing and growing, when you look at it and it gives you like 10 teams that um you could hit for let's say the asgardian well it would be better to say well which of these are actually my team available right mm -hmm. so if i have two teams available for an asgardian at 250 just give me my two teams right right so it's going to be uh eventually a my, my counter thing that's going to go just against your team and if you run that on the server, it'll DM you the result because you don't want to confuse somebody else with yeah with that output, right? Yeah, it makes sense. That's actually, that's a really interesting uh, evolution of that. It just makes it a little bit more personal for you, which I guess is what makes you know which what is what makes the bot so great because it's like saying like, oh, this is my squad because not everybody has the same squad, like you right, know, exactly. And and whatnot. So it'd be interesting to see it just from a personal level. I was like, okay, well, like I have this, like my X Men are three hundred K, but like this Asgard, but you know, the next person's at four fifty or whatever. And like it, it's very interesting to see that from um, from that perspective. Now, I'm I'm curious. Is I know as of right now, the bot really doesn't take into consideration like global buffs or anything like that. Is there a um, which is apparently what the you know the the punch up and punch down is supposed to help deal with, uh, I, and I know it's probably extremely difficult to figure out how to do that. Is there any plans to do that in the future, like to take that into consideration, or are you just kind of like, yeah, but <laughs> there's a couple of things. Yeah, there's plan to do it. Um, so there's a couple of things here uh, with this. So there's either that um, you're armory is up or not right mm -hmm. because your armory boosts your team power right so right. when you're looking at a counter for a certain team but you enter all your teams in base right so when you go to blitz you have your your base power it's not your your um your war power and the only thing that affects the war power is the armory and unfortunately, it, it's not a straight up percentage. So there's no way for me to know that, yeah. okay, boost everything 10% because many characters have war um, kick-ins. So, I mean, we can I can define one. And that's probably what I'll do, right? So you, you'll be able to say if, so when the war starts, your armory will be up, and then there'll be a command to say armory down, and then mm -hmm. that will reduce all the power of everyone's team. And then I'll most likely um, set a default power or a default percentage increase, but then at an alliance level, you'll be able to adapt that if you want. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. that that's the power level. Um the buff and stuff 
uh, which is basically defense up and defense down uh, or deflex, right? So these are the different things that can uh, affect. In the end, it, it's really complicated because some of these things affect certain teams and some other doesn't. Yeah, sure. Right? It'd be really great to help to deal with that. And API. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Imagine if you could just pull that data so it does it automatically so you don't have yeah. to worry about it. You have to hard code it. Because, man, if you could, if, if they release that, which I doubt they ever will because they'll probably see how broken all their code is. I was going to say, is that why we think we don't see their API? Because, because it would show how broken their game is? Yes. I would, I would, I would bet. All of the five dollars savings I have right now <laughs> on that at the moment. Yeah, right. Because people have been asking that for so long. Like the second that got out there, it would be like grabbed, right? And when some yeah. people would use that, I, it, it definitely. I'm curious too because with with the 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 acquisition, I heard there's going to be a whole new team now with Marvel Strike Force. Good. I, I hope so. Good because these guys are fuck are a bunch I, of. I heard there's going to be a new dev team. One. I'm very curious. Oh, yeah. I didn't. I didn't finish this. I didn't finish it. <laughs> I heard uh. that this is obviously Reddit chalk. So who knows? Uh, can't hear. Can't hear Vivash low volume. Crank it well, up. Well, I don't know what to tell you. I I'm cranking up the audio. Everyone else is gonna be loud. Sorry. Uh, I I heard on the Reddit that there's gonna be a new dev team, which I'm very curious about. Um, Sounds good to me. I guess we'll see. We'll see I, how I, that I, plays out. I don't understand how it's so difficult to put a REST a- API po- endpoint to allow people to but extract there, like a JSON, which is like literally just but the, still, the typical still, values of the units. There's still so uh, many background things of that we don't know that 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 at, for admin reasons or like maybe even security reasons because it's a Marvel IP. Who knows? You know what I mean? Uh, I mean, Star Wars. CG, uh, I'm, I'm trying. Has one. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to like literally give them any kind of uh, defense here, but I, I can't. It's, I, it's trying to give them the benefit of the doubt. I just, I just, I, I, uh, go ahead, Silver. No, I was going to say, I don't think API oh, has you, you, anything. I am? I'm not. Oh, you no, were for, I was just for a like lag three, for like, it's probably just a lag. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. No. No, I was going to say API is not related to Marvel IP because there's nothing Marvel related. I mean, these guys can go in the game and grab the like the, the characters already. So it's not sure. like the API will give you Marvel special content, right? Sure. It, right. it would be more data, right? It would be like, Here's your team. Here's your team power. Here's the team, like the L power and everything mm-hmm. of each characters. And hopefully right. here's how it is in war. Here's how it is in base power. I mean, that, that would be what an API does. Sure. But sure, even, sure. even better, I think their API should give us, if we do have an API, I think that, that that's one thing. The second thing is it should give you anything related to raid performance or war performance data that you can grab, like how many nodes did one person did in raid or how many attacks did one person did in raid, right? That's like a lot of people like, and and I ran my alliance for a long time, like I said, and raid wise, like most alliance goes into, oh, here's your minimum in raid. Right. But. Mm -hmm. I never like to do that because it's like minimum very, attacks. You mean yeah, n- minimum damage? Oh, okay. Because that's the only like data we have, right? You, like when you look in and you see like, oh, Silver Ninja did like twelve million damage uh, so far, right? So, sure. but you don't see did I do that in eight attack or did I do that in three attacks? Right. Exactly. Right. And. The damage is very, very uh, related to what your lane is. So I remember in U7, like, it's not as big of a deal. In U6, there was a lane that was, like, it wasn't that hard. But if you could do it, you get, like, double the damage from it. It was the one that was second or right on the interior one. Yeah, correct. It was on the right side, but inside, like. You, you could get the you could get number one in the in the uh, every in the raid day. every day, and then me on the outside lane, which was technically the most difficult one, gets dicked every day because <laughs> I have to do the hardest lane. Well, at the time, but no, now, exactly. obviously it's not like that. But you're yeah. exactly right, right? Yeah. And somebody that wanted to progress the fastest would yeah. be like, 
I need lane yep. six, right? Yeah. Like, yep. So I but, have people that would, they would fight about that. They would oh, want cool. that one lane. And I'm like, dude, dude, Look, man, like I'm running the fuck, I'm running this alliance yeah. and I'm not even doing it. So, yeah. like, <laughs> well, you guys are trying because so I hard. caught myself. You're yes. trying so hard. You did great. You caught you yourself two times. That's not, I can't catch myself. Uh, but, but to me, like, damage power is, is too subjective. But the amount of attacks that you've done would be a very, uh, a much better yeah. uh, barometer. Right, because mm-hmm. if you see one guy that only did five attacks, you're like, dude, get your attack in. Right? It's like when right. everybody else is at. So war, we have how many war attacks you've done. Right. You have also the damage, but again, it's subjective. Right? Yep. It's like it, it, if you run cleanups, you run cleanups. Whatever. Yep. It's like it has to to do. Right? Like we won a war yesterday in a in a race on the last drop. And one guy was like, oh, my God, I hit like a cleanup on this. And that that screwed up my perfect war. I'm like, dude, we won. It's yeah, it's yeah exactly. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's funny you mentioned that the damage thing and not knowing your attacks and all that stuff in raids, because, you know, we do U7 all the time. Um, and I just have two lanes. I have two easy lanes on the far left side of Strike Team 3. I get them done. I it shows I actually have like a little bit of damage from doing that, but it doesn't show that I just use four teams. <laughs> but but that's go, the thing, right? Know. It's like it, it would be great to see like how many attacks you've done and how much heals you've used during your raid uh, run, sure. right? Because that's, that's true. That, they don't show how many items you use, right? Because that that yeah. like how many teams you you, you use that doesn't really matter to me, right? But yeah. if you've done four attacks and you use like 200 eels to like go through it, maybe as a a leader, you'd be like, oh, maybe you're in the wrong lane. Maybe yeah. we need to switch you. If you're the only one that uses resource all the time. Sure. So it should be, it, it would help. Yeah. And unfortunately, yeah. there's no way, right? It's like once in a while we'll go like, hey, you seem to be struggling. Are you using a lot of resource or whatnot? Right. And yeah. Like, okay. So, but, but that, that, that's what APIs would be very useful for alliance management, right? It's like, yeah, like the team getting the team stuff, but what's, I think, limiting them from doing that is more of security thing, right? Because the PID is basically public. So if you run an API and it's just solely based on a PID, like I can look at your uh, teams. If I find you in the game, I look at your PID and probably can extract all of your data, right? Mm. So they'll they'll need to have a way to in the game and like you generate a key. I, actually, we I've done similar thing with the bot. So there's another tool called uh, MSF Pal, which is a website uh, from another developer that um, it's. You, you enter your team in there. Well, actually, you enter your characters in there. You set up teams, and then you can do the war team. So some user, some people were using MSF Pal, but then with the counter stuff, they started using my bot, and they were like, why can't you guys talk? So I basically created a REST API for the war bot, and then the guy from MSF Pal is integrating it. So if you go on their website, you can set up your teams, and then it'll sync in the war bot both ways. And then you can mark stuff as used uh, on Oh, that's on pretty web. cool, man. But, but for a security reason, right? So you go in the bot, and you uh, there's a new command called Gen API Key. And then it gives you this huge string that you have to enter in MSF Pal. And then there's a validation that it's you and it's your alliance. So if you move alliance, you can't, it won't work. You'll have to regenerate a new key. So if they do APIs, it's going to have to work similar, like a little bit like this. And I, I think for them, the API is not money generating. So that's oh, why. It's, because... Um, I was talking to the guy from uh, MSF.gg, um, and apparently there's a first version of the API that has been coming on very soon for a long time. 
but yeah, they've, they've, they've talked about it um, way back when I know they talked about releasing it like six months ago. Yeah. Um, but then obviously there was the scopely deal. So they hold held off on, on releasing anything like that until that deal went through. So that's what I'm assuming that is probably also happening right now. So, yeah. And, and it's not money generating for them. So it's not a priority. <sighs> Unfortunately, you know, and see, that's the thing that's so messed up, man, is that like video game. Oh. It's a business. It should. Yeah. I, I know it's a business, but in business, right? Like there's, there's something to be said about, yes, we're here to make money, but as a game, there is, they're providing a game, right? And in these games, this type of game, there is one element of that which produces a lot of income for them, and it's called community, right? So one would stand a reason from a, I don't know if you want to call it marketing, whatever you want to call it. Customer There's, service relations. Sure, so customer ahead. service relations. Okay, right. you want to make sure your player base is happy with the game because ultimately, if they're not happy, they're going to take their business elsewhere. That's business one-on-one. I'm a chef. I used to be a chef. If I go to a restaurant and they treat me like crap, I'm going somewhere else. If they give me bad food, I might try it again. If they give me bad food and bad service, you sure is. I'm sure as hell not going back there. Okay. So with this game, right? Like they have shown time and time again that yes, it is a business. And they don't give and a bad damn service. about your. Mo- they don't give a. They don't give a shit about whether or not you're enjoying this game. They just want to supply the cake to you, and whether you, or not you're putting it up your ass, you're eating it in your mouth. They don't care, dude. Like they, and that's the problem is that yeah, like little geez. things like this are things that people like, right? Star Wars Galaxy Heroes. How much, how it would take one developer, one developer sitting there for a couple of days writing out the code to say, hey, export this data and that's it. Like specifically what kind of data you want exported. It ain't that difficult. I'm a junior. I could do it. I'm not going to do it like because they're not going to hire anybody to do it. And it's, it's, it's stupid. Like it's really freaking stupid, dude. And like, well, I, I mean, we're not even getting into the topic of how they paywall the Ebony Maw right now. I mean, we're going to talk about that, but like, <laughs> oh, there's just boy. so many. There are so many things that like they flipped the middle finger to the entire Fix MSF movement, and it's like they have shown that they are stern in their ways. They're not going to change, and it's the same thing as if you ever dated a guy or girl that is a manipulator, and that's all they are. Is there a freaking giant? Well, manipulation company i don't let's know let's move on like, to the, just, the ebony mall discussion because someone said last night to me while streaming that apparently it's no longer going to black bolt is no longer going to be required for ebony mall it's just five in humans so five seven star seven star seven yes. star in humans so they have to be seven stars it's gonna be a seven star unlock for ebony mall Ready? yeah you know what you know how i feel about that you know how mm-hmm. i feel about that? that's some bullshit Right is your, so it I'm, is dude i mean that's that's literally like so wait, don't, like, don't we only have five five in humans anyway M- no Smith, we marvel, have seven quake yeah yeah there's a seven total yo yeah Mar- miss marvel quake yo oh, yeah was yeah uh black bolt um Karnak, crystal and Karnak. crystal okay crystal, so crystal seven. Karnak, yo yo and oh, god it's so sick. Not seven. It's six. Yeah, it is six. Oh, right. it is six. Okay. So it is five, six. I can't. I can't five, numbers. Someone said seven to me yesterday. Yeah. What is the five seven? regular, regular inhuman team plus Miss Marvel? Yes, exactly. So, um, yes, because I always think Quake is on a different team for some reason. I always, I always put her on my Avengers team. So I always right. forget about or my Shield team, whatever. Yeah. So I always forget about that. So like, if it is a seven star unlock. Okay, I, I said this yesterday because I was actually um, I'm actually looking forward to next week's podcast where we talk about regular video games because I started playing The Division Two again. Uh, <laughs> so just, well, as I was streaming last night, we had a couple of people come in the chat and talk about Marvel Strike Force because I wasn't streaming Marvel Strike Force; I was streaming The Division. I didn't want to talk about the Marvel Strike Force, uh, but we decided to talk about it anyway. Um, I'm okay with this being a seven star unlock because. Like I'm fine with um, not just I'm fine with working towards something. Okay, mm-hmm. like yes, you know Phoenix was a six star unlock. That's fine, you know. But you, I, I raced to get her the first time around because the you know, characters were farmable. They gave us enough time. If you had started working on them or just happened to anyway, doesn't matter. But if I'm okay with it being a seven star unlock, because I'm probably not going to get Ebony Mall the first time. I'll probably get it around seven, the second or third time. So long 
as they make those characters farmable. Right. And so far, three, well of, them in are, advance. three of them are not. Crystal, Karnak, and Yunio are not farmable by any means. Cor- correct. So if they make them farmable and not 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 in orbs farmable, not in like, you know, give War us a note. farmable? Don't, don't know. Mm. There's going to be yeah, so I basically I basically have one month or maybe less to farm Sif from a two star to a five star. Yeah. The silence says everything. It's bullshit, dude. It's mm-hmm. like I have I, I've already refreshed the store. I refreshed it six times yesterday. Z- zero Sif shards showed up. I refreshed yeah. it two times already today. So it's basically three cycles. Zero Sif shards. So I've since she's been released, I've yet to see her in the store, and I've refreshed the short the store. I think I've spent. I got her around, twice. Yeah, I got. I, I think I've gotten her twice. I think I've spent around seven or eight hundred cores so far refreshing the war store, and I've yet to see her in my war store. And um, what's yep. the point of playing this game, dude? Like, I don't get it anymore. Like, it's it's just I, I, I yeah. So you can I mean, myself till I die, bro. I did well. You know what, dude? You're right, man. I mean, it, it, I honestly feel like the game's killing my my spirits right now because, like, well, I'll, I'll say this just, to you: I, we've had this discussion before. It's I, just not fun anymore. I think I think being in a way more like low key alliance is definitely what takes stress off. Because, like, I don't. I'm not not having fun. I, there's annoying things I find. Like, and for instance, I can't get Black Bolt. I'm not gonna get all. That sucks. I have finally got Phoenix. I finally got Ultron. There are things I've been working on for a while, which I don't mind working on things for a while. I don't mind like grinding it out. That's fine. As long as it's a reasonable acquirement, right? Like it took a while to get Phoenix, but everything was reasonable there. Even though I had to upgrade hand assassin, like garbage, (laughs) you know, stupid character to to upgrade. But I did it. It took me a while, but I did it. It took me forever for DD2, but I did it. You know what I mean? uh, the thing is, is I, and I and I I see you one hundred percent where you're coming from, but from where I'm coming from, I've been done with Dark Dimension yeah. two for over a year. So sure. like the fact that's, that, that, well, that's why I'm saying that's why I'm saying it, 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 the the new things for players who are already past that stuff, yeah, is is not uh, a reasonable uh, thing to like things to acquire, and that that's that's what there's they nothing have. to do. There's yeah, nothing to do. To, there's literally nothing to do. I still I'm doing the same thing I've been doing for a year, and sure. like it's. It's getting to the point where I I don't see any light at the end of the tunnel, so to say, in terms of like like getting Black Bolt, right? It's like, sure, okay, so so because Sedano Mac, which congratulations, homeboy, for spending way too much money on this game, um I'll I'll be able to get Sif or Hella to four shards. So with her coming out in the villains campaign, I actually stand a chance to get Hell at five stars. Then I by the time Black Bolt comes out, I will have to refresh her node every day because you know, two times zero is zero. But um d- which is how many shards I will probably be getting most of the time. Uh but it's just like war is not enough to keep me playing this game. U seven yeah. has been around for so long, it's boring AF, it's long and tedious. Um, war, I, I just, I, I find it to be a, an obnoxious game mode and I'm, I'm looking for any reason to continue playing this game. And it's like, I saw a guy on the Facebook group this morning. He got really pissed off because he's like, will you guys please stop releasing characters? Like I don't have money in my bank account to buy these characters. And there are like a million problems with this game. And it's not even somebody that's attached to the fix MSF movement. And people are like, like making fun of him. And I'm like yeah. thinking to myself, this is a person who's genuinely upset right now that there are a lot of problems. And the answer to the problem is, Hey guys, here are three new characters for you to get ripped four, with, you know, like four, four new characters four more new characters for you Our red skulls coming out. Guess what? You can go through all this crazy shit, buy all this gold power up your hydra team and put them on defense and never see what they do. Congratulations guys. You just played Marvel simulator. Like yeah. that's literally so, like, and, as a player at my level, 3.1 million TCP, who has spent, like, all resources to get some meta teams, like, Power Armor, X-Men, you know, BKT, like, up, I still don't have, still at, like, level one, haven't touched at all because I don't have, I don't have the, the resources. You know, the resources, do. yeah. Yo-Yo, Karnak, Mr. Sinister, uh, Strife. So, like, I have a lot of characters that I haven't even, like, lo- like touched because I, it's, like, either I waste the a little bit i'm trying to do on them 
or I, I like every like four days I can level up Colossus to to another level because I don't have the dude. And that's the thing. It's like the they, trainer. it's like they, it's like they, they stick it half in and they leave it, they leave it in there. It's like they, they released <laughs> Strife and and Mister Sinister in Blitzes, <laughs> and it's it, like, yeah, yo, like they, they, they. What, what is this team? Like they don't even have a fourth, a fifth member. It's like you got to like hodgepodge a team together. Like it's almost like they don't complete their own character releases. They, they, they mess with War Machine. Because I am, I'm, I'm assuming it has something to do with the fact that uh, Ironheart is that the name? Yeah, yeah yes. I'm assuming yeah. that whatever Ironheart provides to the team it's made a, it too overpowered. Vision. Okay, right. So, but whatever, whatever she provides to the team alongside War Machine made him too powerful. So they had to nerf his speed or something. I don't know. Like some something's off with that team. I can't punch up against BKT at all. Like I get obliterated in wars. I've lost the last six attempts I've had against BKT teams. The same one I've been trashing for like over a year or mm. however long the power armor team has been. And since, since, since this thing happened, my team is fucked and like, I'm oh, sorry I dropped was. it, but like, that's how like I feel as like somebody that invested in a specific team and it, it nothing has, the, the only thing that's changed is they made it worse. Yeah, and because if, I, sorry, if you ahead. kill risk you, you're, you're, you're screwed. <laughs> yeah i mean, it, but, I mean it's, it's like, also the it, it's, it's also the fact that the turn order is messed up so war yeah. machine goes before vision now so he's doing his ultimate into a team that has defense up whereas before my vision was going first so he would get rid of the defense up yep. and do the full damage now i know that that is obviously to counteract the fact that Ironheart applies defense down on everybody and will be taking the turn before war machine but, but you're not out yet but she's not out yet so yeah, you fucked my team up i can't even use it anymore correctly so yeah, like they, they that's, that, that, it's like they have like the, and and that's why I'm okay if the new team is taking over because they can't even complete whatever it is that they're trying to complete. Like again, we have this we have this incomplete. Uh, what are mess. they? What 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 is what is strife and sinister? What do they call that team? Marauders. Marauders. So they got this incomplete Marauders team. You have Hydra coming out, which is going to be a defensive team. You have now the Inhuman team, which kind of seems incomplete in a sense, but maybe not. Maybe I'm only saying it's, that it's incomplete. Black, black Bolt, exactly. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like you have all these like half-ass teams, dude. You release Cyclops. What am I supposed to do with Storm? You release this person. What am I supposed to do with that person? Like this, dude. What is going on with this game, man? Like I, I, I honestly, God, like as a player that lo- that has invested so much time, like, like I don't even think they. I think that they're literally like, ooh. Look at this character. Let's release this character and just yeah. like jam him into this team. Oh, yeah. what, what? Oh, oh! People already have a powered up X Men team. Screw it. They can just leave Storm on the bench. Like, yeah. Well, they they don't. They only consider people who have. I mean, it, it feels like is they've only considered people who have max teams. Like, okay, here's a new character for you to max out because you have hordes and hordes and hordes, right. hordes of gold. Whereas, like, they're not giving consideration or any sort of catch up mechanics to people who don't have these. Things. But does anybody oh, like, actually have that? Is, is that like actually a thing for anybody in the game? Even the top percentile? Like, I feel like they are have to be even like strapped with how many characters they've had to max out. I guess, uh, but that was really the whole point of you know the movement is really just be like, let's say, Hey, look, this is, let's look at this whole scenario and to see what's on, you know, the writing on the wall and go from there, you know, let's, yeah. let's try to fix this now before everybody, you know, pieces out because of this whole, you know, shit storm that's going, but anyway, but it's neither here two, nor there. two comments on what some of you guys said. And so I, I know as a 3.1, you're, you're lower right now and still have stuff to do right with, um, Wolverine and Alg shards that we get as yeah. achievements, right? I, I I think they they need to put like a mechanism of like once you get those characters to it seven star, it should switch to 100%, another one. 100%. So it, it, like right now, my achievement is like you get barely any gold, barely any <laughs> yeah, any power cores and shards for all that's going to be recycled in yeah. Ultimus, which I also have at seven. <laughs> Right, so it's like, I have forty-four Ultimus orbs right now sitting. Forty-four, I have yeah, not opened. Like, I also have three hundred and forty-one milestone orbs. I have not opened. Yeah, silver. I, I'm curious. What is your what is your collection power at? Uh, Six point three. Oh, big, big, big. Yeah, big roster. Yeah, right? I, I I don't have one characters in blue right now. They're all at least um, gear nine, and I think my lowest level is maybe 48 on some merc guy mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah right and, and i've i think i've assigned all the t3s to all of them 
Okay. So all the characters, yeah, that's sounds about right. So, so obviously, uh, Silver, you're you're the bigger TCP out of all of us. I'm I'm sitting at five point one, so you're a million ahead of me. So what is what? How do you feel about this release cadence or this? Um, you know, what is driving you to play the game? Because we've talked about it for many many times about like what's what we want in the game and what us like what we as a you know community like the three of us want to want to have happen i mean and that's the reason why like we feel like we have a good rapport here is because crondo and i are about the same in terms of where we are yeah. uh, and tcp and, and what we plan and you know dom has just unlocked ultron at seven stars so like he's kind of the lower end so it, it's, it gives a good fresh perspective to everything but i'm curious like if somebody and we've had people on like dismal's been on here we've had remin x be on here to give their perspectives as like you know mega whales and whatnot but like what what is driving you to play this game or what would you like to see from this game in terms of like is it new game modes is it new other things just other times in which to play or do stuff like give us your insight on that what you're thinking of yeah so for me uh i think blitz is broken right it takes just too much time um i I mean lately with all the i i I blitz a lot i i i think i have something like twenty one thousand blitz 21 500 blitz win so Jeez. I, I, I i blitz quite a bit right? my, oh my so, god i'm so curious my garbage i'm at 18 something i think is what i'm at so and i would say in the last two three months other than the new release characters i haven't really blitz i blitz like some days i actually have to go do the two battles to get the the daily achievement thing or the daily what, what did they call those um objective your daily objective because i'll i'll always do my full rotation on the night that the blitz starts Mm -hmm. no matter what Mm -hmm. Uh, but then if it's like a a character that i don't don't really care about it'll i'll stop there yeah yeah, yeah because it takes me like i i think not half of a rotation to get all the um the, the rewards monster. from from uh, the blitz, right? So to yeah, get I'm, through, it, it, I'm at like six fifteen, like six uh, six hundred thousand five hundred uh, fifteen thousand will get me um, is one rotation for me at this point. So it's like I'm almost there to be able to do the milestone and chill. Mm. Yeah, milestone and chill, baby. That's my okay. life right there. I, I do over a million in one rotation. That's Got great. It. My, How long my, did you? Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 one, the original one is basically 25 teams that I oh, run. God. And then, and actually, no, it's more than that. It's like four, like the original one is like 40 attacks. Mm-hmm. So I, my, the first five teams I actually have to hand select because we don't have any enough don't. space team. Right. But He's because, kind of... because I have, uh, what, um, what is, like? What is that play mode? Like, what is that? Like, Dog, is the that? look on your face was so good, man. Because it's even annoying for me because I just have I have to just keep going through the same team. I recycle the same garbage I have because it's just a like, well, three hundred level minion or something. You know, I, like, I have one hundred and twenty seven te- uh, characters unlocked, right? Right. So basically, twenty five teams goes through one hundred and twenty five of them, right? right? So the way I do is I start from the bottom, right? So I have five teams that I have to end select, which Ooh. that's a pain in the ass. So they need to give us more safe team per mode. That Ooh. one, that's one thing they should do because I, right now all my safe teams are geared towards blitz slash war. Yeah. Right. When, and whenever Ooh. I do U seven, I have to select like the tech wing or the, the variation yeah. of the tech manually. It's a pain in the ass. It's like, like they need to give us like, Oh, this, you're doing gamma. It should be here's your team for gamma. I and mean, like, come on, guys. It's like yeah. safe team is like the easiest and cheapest thing you can put in the game to make people's life simpler and faster of wasting time. Because when you have 127, it's like, oh, where is this character that I'm looking for? It's like, come on. Right. So um but, yeah, anywhere. my blitz rotation, I start with those five. Then I go through my 20 safe teams. And then when I get to the top five teams, I actually do four battle each. So there's a free one, 
and I did do the three battles at uh, basically 25. 25 recharge. And then if you save your villain uh, objective for the day, that gives you 100. Yeah. And if you haven't claimed your... Um, the new, challenge. Your challenge. Yeah, yeah. New it medical supply. Yeah. Yeah. It gives you... Another, it basically refills it, right? So I got five teams at four battles, which is three um, at 25. Hmm. So you added five teams, so it's 15. So it's 25 team plus uh, 15 extra battles. So the original push that I call is 40 blitz battle. And that usually get, gets me like to like nearly 2 million. Yeah, like and moly. it takes me like an hour over. <laughs> right. Now, heavy... Have you heard the? Not, I guess not necessarily a rumor. They've been play testing it um, on their end about the blitz sim that's I going did. on. I think that's a great idea, and I feel like that's a way to make um, essentially make the quality of life for blitz a little bit better. That way, we're not spending hours on on end, but it's still like hopefully that'll work. For for those who don't know, blitz sim is essentially like the auto win for. Um, your uh, like you know we're going on the campaign notes or whatever but it's it's not it's different it's, not, it's different it's not auto win it just automatically simulates the battle Correct. um how it would how it would work out so essentially as opposed to going through your characters hitting start letting it load auto. hitting auto sitting there for three minutes letting yeah. your fight play out you just hit it once and you can go through a bump 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 bump, bump to go through your blitz battles in like five to ten minutes as opposed to an hour and a half which i think is what's needed yeah personally because you know they're talking about redu- reducing screen time, and that they and yet they keep releasing characters with blitz. You know, and anybody who has a blitz bot is is coming out on top because they're not doing as much screen time. Yeah, um, and they can just let it play while you're sleeping, and that I think it's bullshit. L- but literally, the only uh, team that I don't play on auto and blitz is power armor. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. it's the because it's because terrible. of Iron Man. Yeah. yeah, because Iron Man has his special ready to go on turn one, and you want to do a basic first, and then have rescue give offense up to everybody, and then unleash a special, and then the auto <laughs> for some reason by that time he has his ultimate, which is the beam, so which it's only one. So the other cool thing would be that if you can actually, if you could actually program your team of like, what's the sequence of those, uh, of those attacks you want, like use basic first on Iron Man and not special and then use special second, Mm -hmm. that, that would, I would auto all of them. I mean, I literally auto all the fights, even on the subsequent blitz. Like right now we're in um, the blob blitz. I'm at over 10 million. Cool. Oh, blob blitz. It's, you know, just to to reiterate as a low level player, uh, whenever they do a character release through blitz, they might as well just look at anyone that's under a certain TCP and go, well, I guess you'll get it next time or something. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. Geez, here, here's your, your, your 10 Here, shards. Yeah. Enjoy. I think I, I get 25 for, for, for chilling. I think it is. Yeah. For chilling. Just for Four getting to, it. yeah. yeah, yeah. <sighs> it sucks. Your milestone. But I mean, we all went through that, right? Even when yeah. I started, I didn't have enough, like the, the, the top guys. And it, it's a little better now because it was top 1500 before when it was top, now with top 2000 is like a little more shards are there, but yeah, yeah I, I agree. Yeah. yeah. But so it, blitz is definitely need, need to be fixed. I, I think this mode might help. Fix oh, I that. think so. Yeah. Which is unfortunate because our, our fix for a game mode is just making it so you don't play the game mode. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, an interesting fix. Yeah, the, the, there's a couple of things, right? So with Blitz, it, it's a way to test your characters, right? And I think they're coming with a game mode that you'll be able to do 1v1. Yeah, the PvP five. arena. Someone actually it, funny it, someone mentioned that. I'm actually, I am a little excited for that. I'm very curious. Yeah, I think I think this is going to be a very good way to test your teams, especially if you can assign certain uh buff 
right? To simulate arena, uh, not arena, but war with offense up, defense down, or sure. whatnot. Right? Yeah, yeah. So I, I think that's going to help, like the theory crafting and the play tests and so. But blitz should be just blitz, right? right. And, and it, it, you learn your teams, you learn how to play them. But like once you learn them, and it's like whatever, right? But when when you try to do fourteen million points to get in the top two thousand, you don't have time to spend Seriously. an hour each time. Yeah, right? it's insane. Does, and whenever you look at the blitz predictions, especially for a new character, like what, like sixty mil or something like that, it's like Jesus, like. I think Bob is like 14 right now. Oh, really? Is it? Oh, I feel like, man, I feel like a lot of times, usually the new characters are really up there in the predictions, like insane. Well, I usually like look at, I, I've, I've done a few of them at the top 100, but uh, that that's just too much time. I guess, yeah, that's what I'm talking about more so than, than the, the top 2000 or something. But. Like I'm, I'm at 10 million now and I barely had time to uh, blitz, um, on friday like yeah. i was super busy with work so sure. i mean I, I think it took me like five hours to complete one like i would start a fight and then forget about it and sure <laughs> yeah yeah but sure. yeah i think right now like if i look at the top 2k it's the lowest one is 14 and the highest one is 15 yeah yeah, it's just a lot. I don't want to be playing this game that much. Speaking of not playing this game that much, um, I know there's a lot of stuff that we kind of missed on the recap. Uh, for anybody who's interested in a recap video, our friend of the pod, Valley Flying, does a fantastic recap video, so I'll make sure that uh, to post that in the link below if you guys want to take a look at that. Um, Valley's a great guy. He's been a part of this podcast since the beginning. We actually got to get him back on because it's been a minute since. Also, we've... big shout out to Valley Flying. Yeah. His blue belt in jujitsu and winning his first competition. Got first. Uh, he got gold in his first jujitsu competition. Good for him. Good job, he he, say, he okay. sent me a DM like, "Hey man, uh, how should I feel about this?" I was like, "Be nervous. It's okay." But that's neither here nor there. It was just a funny little thing. What are you? What are you? Are you a black belt? No, I'm a brown belt, which is the belt before black belt. Right. Ooh. It's the shit belt. It's the shit belt. <laughs> so much. it means you can beat the shit out of people? Ooh. Oh, hey. Uh, anyway, so that's – um, oh, so we'll, we'll, post, <laughs> we'll post a link to his recap video of the week because there's there was a lot going on and whatnot. And so I don't really want to spend a whole lot of time going over that stuff because, honestly, guys, I'll have to say I'm getting kind of a little burnt out. Even though my job is completely over and I'm now – going to be streaming a little bit more because i have nothing else to do with my free time <laughs> um i'm gonna try to be playing some other games. i'm just kidding i i would I'm if kidding, i'm kidding would hire, dude. If, if anyway, anyway, like, you know if anyone can get a job in the freelance film industry right now uh, dude if i i can't I'm, I'm like applying to tech companies and it's not happening oh anyways sorry anyway so um but yeah so we'll, we'll go over some more stuff but like uh, you know it's just things are bad with everything in the world so i was hoping that we might have like a little, like a little joy of things within the Marvel Strike Force world, but nope, that's not. I don't think that's going to happen. But anyway, um, what I have uh, one, I have one cool thing that I'm happy about Marvel Strike Force. Uh, the, the fact you're quitting. No, I finished Stark Tech a few weeks, like a week ago, and I don't ever have to look at it ever again. Yeah, oh, that's just another quit. thing. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, for your bot. No, no, th- that's not. I'm not too worried because people like ask me all the time, like, don't I have to update my teens like every single day is because I push start tech. I'm like, no, because like the increase on your teens is negligible. Right. 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 So I, I go through my team like once a week, maybe once every two weeks. And I mean, unless you're leveling up, like one tune out of like your meta team, like, or if you pull some red stars, uh, then go update your power. Like if your team jumped quite a bit, but like a few hundreds, even a K, it's not going to really matter that much on yeah. your more. So you, you don't have to constantly update it. Yeah. We'll, we'll see. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Star Tech is something. I wonder what they're going to do if they're going to increase the levels or do something else. Because I know a lot of us are sitting. I like. I also just finished all my Star Tech. I think like maybe this week, maybe yesterday. I can't remember what day. I, the, the whole, everything's blending together with work being crazy or not anymore. And then um, 
with the house because you know it was a great idea to buy a house right before the coronavirus you could, you hit the phone. I know it's just, it's just no one could have this. Out. You know. Um, but anyway, well, now you so, have two houses to quarantine yourself at, bro. I am so concerned because, like, we were in the middle of getting our our one condo ready to rent, and then, like, I don't know what the rental market's going to be like. You know, yeah. So it's going to be fun paying for two mortgages for a while. So I might have to sell it. I don't really want to, but if that comes down to, that's probably what I have to do. But anyway, um, a lot of stuff coming up. I don't really want to get into what's coming up because I don't know. Oh, come on, come on, just do it. Come on. I don't know. Um, oh, come on, man. Come on. Come all on. right. So what's what's coming up? You guys are looking forward to Marvel Super War, <laughs> Marvel uh, Future Revolution, Marvel Marvel, Marvel, Mar- Marvel Marvel Mobile Insider, Final Fantasy War of what is it called? Literally, War of just, literally just heard it here first. War of the Visions. Yeah. Uh, Seven Deadly Sins. Marvel <laughs> Contest of Champions. Realm of Champions is then also another so, one coming so, out. What are, you, are you excited for anything coming up in the game? I'm not sure because, like, it, it, to be fair, like you're past that point. I think of being excited for things a, a lot of their stuff, <laughs> that, or what, like, you never know when things comes up, right? Sure. It's like, like they announce stuff, like, and like villains. Villains it, was supposed to be this month, wasn't it? Exactly. So, I mean, I take it as a it comes out. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and, and to me, like, like you, you guys were talking about the new character is going to be a seven star. I'm like, I don't mind about that because I, I think it's okay that some characters should be really hard to get. Sure. Fair. Yes. Agree. Right? Fair. And, and, agree. And, and you should grind stuff. And, but they should not put like the way to grind it just behind a paywall. Right. hundred percent. Right. It's like, there should be a way to get there. I think it's okay that if you're going to pay for it, you get like an edge for a little while, but that little while cannot be like six months to a year. hundred percent. Right? So, I mean, um, I spent on the as guardian when they came out. So, I mean, I'm way ahead of the curve. Yep. But, uh, and in humans as well, actually not my in humans are still pretty low, but I mean, and like you were saying, uh, Kondo, about like refreshing the war store, I guarantee you that these guys have an algorithm of what you buy and what you don't buy. Yeah. So if you pick an item and you refresh the store, it has less least likely to be oh, I, owned on there. I could I, not agree more with you. I don't. I don't buy Sif because I spend all my wars on my war credits on mini Unix to try mm-hmm. to get into DD three. Yeah. Um, and I've seen it like five times this week. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds right. Right. War, war store should, should only be gear. War store should yeah. only be gear. It, it, yeah, to have, I agree. To, and that's, that's a big gripe to not only have a war store with character shards in it, them be so expensive. Of, yes. of war credits, which are already a hot commodity, <laughs> is is just shit. It's just another shitty instance. It just the thing I think the best way to describe a lot of the problems that we have in the game is it just there's a lot of inconsiderate actions on the part of the the studio, the game, right? A lot of just inconsiderate things, and it, uh, yeah, a lot of it goes back to money or whatever. But like. That's how anyone could think that would be chill, you know, it's just not, it's not, it just sucks. It's, it's inconsiderate. It's inconsiderate the players, people who put all the time. Do that. Let's just make our own game where we consider everything else and we'll make our, I mean, I got plenty of free time. I'm going to go learn Unity. We're going to make our yeah. own game. Let's just figure it out. We'll just make it the OG podcast 5v5. Oh, you're so. getting banned, Mr. Bot in our channel. <laughs> want to become fa- whoa, 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 whoa. I want to become famous. Slow your roll there, okay? I look at this. Look at this freshly shaven face, okay? Now's my chance. Wow, that's just uh, that one. Hey, that's one's our fun. first bot though. That was cool. Nice. No, so we oh, got that's... last week. We got our first troll, or two weeks ago, we got our first troll, and now we've got our first bot. Amazing. On the day um, that we have the war bot creator, I know. <laughs> did you? Did you? Did you, did you, you make, send this? Did you send this? I, I Are did. the machines becoming sentient? I, I sentient? Got... Sent- oh my god, <laughs> sentient. Sen- sentiment to do. <laughs> Sen- sentiment that's hilarious uh i that's will say so, I, i'm gonna oh wait you go sorry, sorry go ahead. 
No, I was going uh, to finish your thought because I'm going to move us on. No, move us on because this is a, this is the end thing I have to say. All right, cool. Then we'll we'll we'll, we'll go for that. So we're, we're all just excited for other games coming out. I, I love it. It's, it's fantastic. Uh, so love. We talk about love and hate it. Where we talk about one thing we love about the game, one That's thing we hate about the game. Whole, so this whole episode. <laughs> The whole thing is the, it's it's great. Uh, honestly, like I wish there were. I just wish there was more things to talk about that I'm excited about. Really, is what it comes down to. But as of right now, there's just nothing exciting, and even the new characters really aren't that exciting. I, I kind of like about. the Infinity Gauntlet Thanos idea. I, okay, I mean, I like that idea. Uh, I probably won't be able to get him because I'm sure they're going to be like, "Oh, you got to have like eight Red Star Red Skull in order to get this Thanos." True. Is it a new character you think, or is it going to be? Are they going to reskin the old? No, it's a new uh, character. God, they said it was a new one. Damn it! I think that would be a cool mechanic to to incorporate the old Thanos into that. You know, because like he's dude. He's just like, you know, he gets like everyone generates infinity stones and then all of a sudden like he switches his character and it's like, you know, Captain Marvel becomes binary. Like his ultimate is like, you know, the uh, infinity Thanos, which I think would be rad. So, but anyway, who knows? Uh, so, one th- uh, love it or hate it. One thing we love about the game. One thing we hate about the game. Um, Silver Ninja. What do you love about the game? And don't you dare say community. <laughs> no, I, I've watched your podcast. I, actually, uh, you war is my is my favorite mode about the game. So, what do you think about that, Grando? I I mean, I, he's not the first person to say that. I mean, I I I, I don't know why I don't like it so much, but. Go ahead. The, 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 but yeah. I was going to say, to be fair, right? I was in uh, Pencil Hall Multiverse, which we were fourth. And. Oh, you mean so the, our, our workations whenever we face them? It's great. Well, exactly. And actually, it's the, the same thing when we face like Cabal, right? And I didn't like it because those two things. It was either too easy or too hard. Right. No middle ground. There was no middle ground. And actually, now that I moved back to uh, Legion uh, Misfit, um, we're in the 50 power level range. It, all the war matters. Like, there's yep. no like 50 million punch up or punch down. Sure. Yeah. I mean, so you and. and I'm against the the whole shelling thing. So every time somebody brings Something that, we up, actually I'm, haven't talked about. In fact, yeah, we haven't talked about much, but but they they propose a fix for it. So we'll see if that actually right. goes or not. But I mean, we we actually try to win every war, no matter what. Yeah, and sure. I feel there's so many like strategy on how to do it, right? And making sure that 24 members come as a unit to to get it done so it, it's I, I think it's an, an interesting game mode because it has so many people work together to an end goal yeah uh true uh what's what's the one thing you hate about the game right now uh i mean like everything is beyond a paywall i feel like mm-hmm. right now. Yeah. And, and to me that that's the the kind of thing that I, I, I wish I, I spent way too much money in this game. Yeah. Way too much. Um, I mean, you don't get the 6.3 millions without having spending anything, but yeah, uh, I'm sure. Um, yeah, I wish like it was a little easier to get to those characters um, sooner, but I get it and I'm okay with it, but I, I hate it at the same time. Yeah. I think something needs to be said too, because I, I feel like, the whales of this game are vilified a lot of time. I don't think personally there's anything wrong with spending money on this game. If you want to do that, that's like, you are allowed to do that. That is more, more power to you. I'm, I, I'm glad that you have that ability. And I think it's shitty when a lot of the problems get blamed on the people who spend money in this game. And and they're like people who spend money in this game aren't, aren't the enemy. And I don't even, I don't even want to necessarily even say Fox next is the enemy. That's like also too, that's too shitty to say. I think there could be obviously be better decisions made, but I don't think there's anything wrong with being free to play, spending a little bit of money or wailing the hell out. Like exactly. And and it's funny when I was an exile son, right. And we would have a brag channel and then like you, you pull or you gear up some, characters because you paid for it or you yeah. bought some offers like 
the number of like gif about a whale coming out of the water like stupid hello, hello, like well hello there right and it's yeah. like i was called a whale so many times and whenever uh, as soon as i moved to pants or legion uh that stuff like, of course no, yeah no, nobody cares right yeah. it's like and i mean we, we um we have uh many that spends and many that don't yeah. in our alliance but nobody goes like oh of course you got that because you spent money who cares that's like yeah. i mean if nobody spent any money, the game would it wouldn't not exist. Be yeah, where it is, right? It, it so. wouldn't exist. <laughs> it wouldn't exist. That's all there is to it. it yeah. Like a lot of the problems stem because they Fox Next probably thinks that they could, like, like a not um, is exploit too malicious. They they could definitely do the things they do because we have a community that's willing to spend. But it's not our game wouldn't be here exactly. Someone just said we would we would have external ads and tap joy offers, which is exactly one hundred percent true. Well, hundred percent true. I don't. I there is no doubt in my mind. I would quit this game one hundred percent already if I had to d- deal with like a thirty second external ad or some kind of stupid. You know what I mean? Something like that. Yeah. I, I would not be playing this game. J- just like all the YouTubers out there that has an ad every like two minutes in their time. It's like, maybe, oh. maybe I'm the uh, the 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 smaller percentage, but I don't mind those because then I can get more stuff with ads. And I can just put my phone in my either. pocket for a second. So, so that's just I just, me. I just, I do those in the morning and I do them on my, on blue stacks and just let them run their shit while I'm doing other stuff. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I just, right. I, I feel like a game like this would use those ads and then still have X. Uh, uh, oh yeah, sure. Oh, 100%, dude. You know, but, like you can get yourself an extra 15,000 gold. If you watch a 30 second ad, It'd be great. It'll that 15,000 gold can get you one eighth of a level. It would, it would be 15 gold. It would be 15, <laughs> 15 gold. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Absolutely. All right. So Red Stars, what did you guys pull for Red Stars? I personally am hoarding all my gold orbs right now for Red Skull. I'm at 27 Red Star orbs. I got what 35. Uh, well, aren't you pretty? In terms of Red Stars, I got – it's a, it's actually a huge bummer. I got a five Red Star symbiote Spider-Man that I, I – I, hey. How are you pulling all these five Red Stars? Because like, he has the FOMO kind of thing going on where it's oh, like yeah. – they're gonna they're gonna dangle these these uh these nice red stars. The on thing, his account the thing so that, that sucks about it stuff. is I can only get him to three stars during the milestones. No, D- D- Dommy, you could you could definitely get him to five stars. You just got to quit being a cheapskate. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> well, at least, at least you highlight a problem where like like if as long as you're just patient, like we said in the past, time is your greatest ally. You're just patient, you'll be fine. I I have him at uh, three red stars. He's four, I got him to four st- uh, yellow stars for the his events. Nice. Um, and uh, I, he's sitting at level fifty. I have not worked on him Did you much just say at all. Patience, <laughs> patience, <laughs> patience. Know, what is this, young what is this Skywalker uh, Silver. What'd you pull for red stars this week? I did not. I'm hoarding too. So, but Fair. I did um, on uh, the free orb we got, the free mega orb we got on the calendar today. Mm-hmm. I, I did pull a uh, hundred uh, shards for Mister Sinister. Nice. <laughs> that's that's amazing. So he's halfway through uh, seven. Dang. That's awesome. (laughs) And I don't even have him yet. (laughs) Dang. Yeah. Um, All right. So what do you guys have for, uh, or uh, Silver, what do you guys have for uh, war advice then? I'm actually going to combine this with the team advice. So it could be either or. War advice or team advice for this game, for other people. So war advice for me is, um, war is done in three phases and i don't think a lot of people understand that so first phase is race to get the buff rooms off right your armory mm-hmm. um hanger the, the, rack, stuff, right? yeah. the, the four globals and once that's done um we go uh w- what we call uh free for all tow so basically tow is two on each side so you want to set up like, and that only applies if you know you're going to clear, right? So mm-hmm. we're at a place that we clear every single war, no matter what, right? So it's Dang. just a matter of who clears first. Mm-hmm. And the tow way is the only way that you can set up your board so you can race effectively. Because only two people on each side can attack at the same time. So if you end up at the race where you have three, the team that will only have two will most likely win. Okay. So it's 
get the globals, then set up your board. And then on the energy, you have to have everybody on there, or at least for the number of uh, slots that you have left to clear. But it, those are R3. And if you guys, if everybody applies that, it'll be a lot more successful at war. Hmm. Hmm. I, we had one player show up like at the energy drop yesterday and bitch because we didn't leave him a target. <laughs> it's like, dude, what do you, and, and uh, at your the, level, like, what do you, <laughs> the funny thing is we've been tagging this guy because we ask in our Alliance, everybody needs to buy three energy refresh. Mm-hmm. And that's allows us to clear by, I think the fourth energy refresh. Hmm. So we're all at nine or something like that. Maybe uh, two, four, something like that. Yeah, something like that. And maybe, maybe it's the third one. But um, and then this guy showed up and he's like, "Oh, leave something for the small guy." I'm like, "Well, if you're coming at the energy refresh, you're late." I mean, yeah, you're already too late at that point. Well, also <laughs> a team, a team like your size and, and stuff. I feel like you probably don't want to say leave something for the small guy. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, hey, maybe don't say that out loud. <laughs> you know, don't want to say what? <laughs> like, don't don't like leave something for the small guy. Like, maybe don't say that out loud. Like that you're don't advertise that you're. <laughs> I don't know. Well, and it's not about that, right? We don't really care. Like, oh, that's like good. We, we literally make a plan yeah. for the energy. So like 45 minutes before the energy, the last energy drop that we know we're going to clear, we make a plan and we assign target to people. Oh, nice. So we know who's taking what. Because we're, we're literally like, we lost wars by 30 seconds. Oh, sure. Right. I'm sure. Yeah, I, because yeah. somebody went in and like the game crash or whatnot, right? Oof, then, crazy to me. So it, it's it, it to me, it's a fun part of it. It's crushing when you lose by 30 seconds, but like yesterday we won by 30 seconds. So yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> sounds like you're playing a completely different game for me. Yeah. Well, and like I said, it, it only applies when you clear the board every single one. Sure, 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 sure. Because I, uh, I logged in this morning and had four fu opponents to face, and Ugh. yeah, that was pretty me, much we... the nail. It was the, pretty much the nail in the coffin for me. I put my uh, put my notice in with my alliance, and I've decided that I'm I'm done with the game for I'm done with wars. Like I I I like the game. I just I. I think war is an ultra shit game is mode. It, is it your? That's your alliance, right? Yeah, I'm. Yeah. I'm just. Yeah, I'm done with Maybe it. I've been running an alliance for alliance. two years, and I'm just. I'm fed up with it. A more I'm casual so alliance, it. I think, will make it. Yeah. Way less harsh. I don't know. I don't know if it's like. I don't know if it's like the. The stress of knowing that I need to keep twenty three other people happy or not, like <laughs> it's just. Uh, and and you know, like. You know, the other day, like I, I missed, I, first of all, I'm a casual, I'm a leader of a casual alliance. I used to be hardcore in wars and we made the decision to split up. And I guess like over time, some members in my alliance have decided that, uh, you know, they want to like revert to old habits. And the other day, you know, a, a guy like laid into me because I didn't make my attacks at night. And I'm like, you know, dude, I've been carrying this alliance for two years. I think I reserve the right to have like a Thursday night to myself. Like yeah. I just didn't feel like playing the game, you know? And somebody ha- had to make a comment to me about it and it's like bro I, I pretty much like carried the first like dozen u7 raids for us to the point where i was doing like 30 to 35 mil by myself while people yep. would be scoring like two mil and it's like i'm so burnt out with having to like shoulder these people and like i've slipped over the weeks and they're sure. doing fine so it's like Dude, I, I just don't have fun with the game, and it's definitely time for me think, to like. I think you need a chiller alliance, it up, dude. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would time. definitely definitely recommend a chiller alliance. I know we we briefly discussed it in DMs, but I think yeah. that's something you need to do. So that's people now see the me. the two polar opposite sides of things. It's like I I. And I, I don't mean to like trash the game. And I mean, I know there are people like full metal was the other day. It was like, how do you hate wars? And I'm like, easy. It's dog shit, you know, like, <laughs> but that's my opinion, you know, and so, but yeah. they're on the other end of the spectrum, silver and his crew, like these people, like you Vash, like you got, like you're in crews that are actively participating in organizing like a slaughter of each other's alliances. And that sounds completely different from, you know, the casual aspect, which is like, well, you yeah. just kind of make a hit when you feel like it. And, yeah. yeah, unfortunately, war is the biggest way to progress yeah. as a free to play thing. Yeah. Right now. Well, yeah. unfortunately, and I wouldn't say unfortunately, but it, it is, right? It's just a fact. And that's why I think it's important. 
it's okay to be casual, but uh, I mean, as long as you probably get a three and three season, you're still going to make some progress. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. When when's the OG podcast Casual Alliance coming? Uh, I don't know. I still have the old uh, Mac Mansion, although um, I you, forgot that I had made it public and someone and I was inactive for two weeks, and so someone else has leader of it. So maybe I'll get it back. We'll see. Wait, huh. you, you get someone could take the leader for oh because you're inactive. Yeah, because the I was inactive. Uh, oh, oh, and oh, I didn't oh. realize it was set to public, and there's a bunch of people just joining it. And so I was Dang. like, eh. Whatever doesn't really matter to me. Someone just said before that that account someone beat them by. Yeah, Guaco. Yeah, yeah. It was to zero one account. Yeah, it's because it's the it's it's the old alliance that I had. So it's like I can't make it. My my alt account is thirty level thirty nine. I can't join a war. Yeah, there's only one character, or it was, but now there is more. But um, anyway, uh, what's your favorite character in the game right now, Silver? Uh, my Phoenix is freaking awesome six star six red star hey same. so is dummy is yours really oh, yeah that's right six red star beater right. i got yeah. a six red star black mold too Woo! that's yeah, that man. might be nice that's, i <laughs> love i have i have to say i hope you are able to get black mold this time around chef because it is uh he is a game changer <laughs> quite literally i'm quite trying literally. man i mean <laughs> yeah i don't think i've blown like, I think I've blown, like it, yeah no, I just hope but, you do. I hope you can get it. It's the same thing that happened to me with DD2, man. I spent 3,000 cores trying to get two unstable molecules for my Star Lord. And, you know, like, I'm, th- that was over the course of like three and a half weeks. And I, I definitely had some choice words for the game <laughs> at that, that point in time. I actually, I actually pretty much the day that I got him, I said, I'm going to quit this fuck. I, I'm going to quit this game. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to quit this game if I don't get into DD2 this weekend. And I logged in that morning first for Saturday morning summons, and there was one in the shop. And I was like, "Okay, All right, here fine. we go again. Like, yeah, here we go. Here, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's that mean. Here we go again. Yep. It's exactly. I could do this hours, all day. Twelve hours, li- and I literally did. So <laughs> fantastic. But, um, that's, that's great. All right. Well, the, um, that. Do we have any uh, Q and A's, Dom? Was there anybody in the no, chat? No, we, we answered some stuff here and there. Yeah, we answered some stuff. So yeah. great. How hard does the six red black bull clap for? Like how how long is? I mean, I have him before? at three red stars, and and he his basic hits for 140 k. What? Did you not see the screenshots I posted in our chat? Jeez. D- an offense up black bolt with a defense oh down God. target in in ultimate seven on like the fifth or sixth node will hit his basic will hit for 140 k. Dang, dude. I can't even imagine what it's like for a six red star. That's Black probably Black like one hundred and eighty k. I haven't paid attention to it. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, like I, auto. Just, I just wreck. Yeah, auto, true. auto, and and chill. I I, I, I don't uh, auto uh, use seven. It, it's two turn base and prep sure, team. It's fair. It's, yeah, I I auto the first four nodes. I think because I can do I can pretty much because I I run the yo yo black bolt. Ultron, uh, Shuri, and Scientist Supreme, and I can that can pretty much auto. I know I'll play the last minute so that we have all the no Minerva, all the um, no no Minerva. Well, the, no. the base damage for my um, Black Bolt in the pure stat is seventeen thousand six hundred. I don't know how that stack again. So I'll okay. tell you. I'll tell you what mine is right now because um, I, I I'll just, tell you what mine is. Zero. Same as mine, baby. Zero. My Phoenix is higher. Is okay, well, so my, my black bullet star, he's at four red star, five yellow star, and he's tier 14 is uh, 16,905. Okay. So that's my pretty My Phoenix pretty good. is at 13. It, it's six and six for me. So, mm-hmm. although it actually says I have, I'm sorry, no, it's 16,588. I was looking at the health. I was like, wait, why is it? I, I couldn't do math. I could look at the right thing. So Here, let me go find my black bull, guys. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Uh, no, anyway, uh, Silver Ninja, thank you very much for joining us this this week on the on the podcast. Uh, you can find Silver Ninja on his Discord, which we will link below. Um, but I'm sure you've seen his his bot running around the MSF war. Yeah, do, do you bots, have analytics so. on that? How many how how many servers is it in? Does it tell you? Uh, yeah, actually, it, t- it even tells you if you look oh. at bot user. It says uh, it's currently uh, doing a. 374. That's, no, that's awesome, man. That's when, you, dog. We, that's great. When we uh, first talked, I think it was on three servers. Yeah, exactly. It's 
it's grown quite a That's bit. That's awesome, man. It, uh, yeah, thank you. Was, like, I don't know, three weeks ago, I think I was in Jamaica. And um, I told my wife, I'm like, oh, we're on 84 channel. And then a week later, we were 184. Wow. So we grew wow. like double. It's, wow, dude. That's awesome. Although it's uh, a lot of those channel are on test uh, servers. Okay. So, a lot so. Of people like creates like just a Discord and invites it and start playing with it, mm-hmm. which is fine. It doesn't really impact anything. But um, I- I'm not sure how many like true alliance there are. It's probably still like over 200. Yeah. Well, again, thank you so much for for doing that, and thanks for coming in. Yeah. And then if you want to support the uh, the MSF Warbot, I think he uh, you have a, a Patreon and all that sort of stuff too, right? I yeah, I, on my Discord there's a uh, a channel called I want to be a Patreon. Um there's I accept three ways. So there's Patreon, uh buy me a coffee and uh direct PayPal. So nice. buy Patreon. me a coffee. That's amazing. That's great. So uh we'll make sure to link that in there. So if you if you like the Warbot, you can go and support um Silver Ninja. I highly recommend it. I'm a Patreon member. And so um and I actually think I was the first Patreon member hey, if I hey, remember correctly. Yeah. Look at you. I try to man, I try to support the community as much as I as much as possible because I feel like, you know, it, it benefits everyone. Somebody has to do it. <laughs> Someone's gotta do it. So anyway, thank you guys very much before, for joining uh, us this week. Before we sign off, I th- I think oh a, a important thing to know note to is everyone to stay healthy to try practice social distancing to wash your hands don't touch your face if you haven't washed your hands and please just try to (laughs) refrain from from going to large events or restaurants or bars or making light of the situation you jerk charlie I was waiting to see how long it took you to notice that. Uh, anyway, you can find us on uh, Instagram at OG.podcast. Our website is beingoverachiever.com or get this episode in every other episode where we talk about Marvel Strike Force video games and all that fun stuff, um, as well as Twitter, which we don't use, at uh, Overachievers. Uh, just posted Twitter. to it now that we're live uh, an hour and 44 seconds ago and posted last <laughs> night when I streamed Marvel Super War, which I'm going to start doing Marvel Super War on this, on this channel and stream more. Check that out because that game rules. Yeah, I think I'm going to try it out, too. So we're going to try out every other Marvel game other than... We should Star actually Force, so. squadcast if you want to try that, because the key, like the, it's it's very weird. It's very weird. We can, All right, we'll try it. We'll, we'll, we'll do some, we'll do some squadcasting and some, some, some super warring and some, some other things. I don't know where I was going with that. Anyway, thank you guys very much. Uh, we'll catch you all next week when we do our normal podcast in which we talk about video games. So I'm excited to talk about that because there's a lot of cool stuff coming out. Yeah. I'm going to have a lot more free time to catch up on all my stuff because um, <laughs> uh, I am currently out of a job until further notice. So great. Cool. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Later. Later.